so hello students welcome to the session so in the previous class we were discussing regarding the basic concepts of community medicine so with the continuation with the previous presentation in today's presentation we will be seeing regarding the uh, certain steps aspects which will be influencing the community health so there are 17 aspects which will be influencing the community health those are first one will be no poverty where the poverty is the basic uh, thing which will be influencing over the community's health. So it might be the uh, education aspect, it might be the familial uh, planning aspect, it might be the occupational aspect. So poverty is the basic uh, aspect which will be influencing over the health, health in the community. Second one will be no hunger, zero hunger. So where there is, there won't be any poverty that will be uh, sustaining the aspects of uh, zero hunger and third one will be good uh, education and well-being or good health and well-being quality edu education uh, gender equality so we have to irrespective of the gender we have to maintain the equality between both the females and uh, males so that uh, to have the equilibrium in the community uh, equilibrium in the occupational aspects so all these things also plays an important role and next aspect which will be influencing over the uh, health in the community is clean water and sanitization as water is one of the basic needs of day-to-day -day activities so clean water and sanitization also plays a very important role in maintaining the community in a healthiest aspect and next one will be decent work and economic health so as uh, everyone got uh, the occupational aspects where there is no poverty, uh, poverty zero hunger so the next stage of the community will be economic growth so day-to-day -day activities of the uh, compared to before the day uh, today activities as well as the economic growth should take place so that you can take the community towards the positivity compared to the previous this one then reduced inequalities so what we are seeing in our present community is uh, regarding the reservation or uh, certain uh, aspects which will be influencing over or certain things which where there will be reserved for certain uh, set of people where if you are reducing those inequalities that also I will, I will be having the influence over the community La life of la on land and life on water so mainly those who are having even though we, what we are seeing with the lakes oceans rivers they also play an important role for the maintaining the equilibrium in the community to have a good health climate action so with respect to the specific uh, seasonal variations that is the summer season winter season rainy season so climate action should take place in a proper aspect to have a balanced environment which directly influence over the individual health so partnership for the goals so when we are working in the community we need to have a good social uh, equilibrium social friendly relationship which will be influencing over the health of the individual as well as all the community so these are the 17 aspects which will be influencing on the uh, on the health community that is sda era that is sustainable developmental era okay so in the last pre presentation in the previous presentation we have uh, discussed regarding the levels of uh, prevention of health problems as i said uh, before to maintain the health in a healthy aspects so not only the doctors so it is a framework it is a group of people who will be working under a single uh, floor for the upliftment of the community in a healthy aspect so under the supervision of medical doctors uh, there are local guys who will be working and asha karyakartas anganwadi workers and other non organizational community uh, committees where they will be working for the development voluntarily where they will be working for the development of the uh, community in a healthy aspect so uh, to prevent any diseases so there are mainly three types of prevention what we are seeing in day-to-day -day activities so first one will be primary prevention secondary prevention and tertiary prevention so primary prevention as you all aware where uh, the risk factors before emerging to the uh, community before emerging it to the public so one has to control so mainly this uh, 
is focused not only on the specific disease. So when the other parts of the country or the other parts of the state or districts are affecting from certain disease, so the primary prevention plays a very important role to uh, prevent that specific uh, disease. So mainly promoting the health of the individuals in the community such as by taking the seminars, by uh, doing the consultation, by taking the prevention um, uh, precautionary measures, by educating the people, by providing the nutritious food and uh, regarding uh, to conveying them regarding the good healthy nutrition, physical exercise and most important thing is the sanitary environment. So one has to have the maintain the healthy or hygienic sanitation uh, all the environment surrounding such a way that they can eradicate or they can prevent certain uh, amount of disease what we are face, uh, facing in the uh, present scenario. So mainly the primary prevention is the basic thing where before getting uh, affected from any sort of disease if they are eradicating or if they are controlling by taking the certain precautions by uh, following the proper nutrition, uh, by having the physical activities every day as well as by doing uh, the day-to-day uh, -day activities in a hygienic manner. So that also will be having the influence over preventing the diseases in the primary level itself. So coming to the secondary level, if a patient got, is affected from any disease, it might be dengue, malaria or whatsoever. So what are the things what you need to do uh, for preventing or to avoid the further complication? So mainly to avoid the further complication, he or uh, she, the patient has to undergo the proper uh, medical uh, review, medical diagnosis, medical investigations and uh, the reviews has to be pr properly care to avoid the further complications which will be taking if they are not caring properly as well as to care for oneself as well as to prevent the spread of the disease in the community so one has to take the proper care among their self by proper investigation proper diagnosing and proper treatment and care and if it is required the proper follow-ups has to be done as per the doctor's prescription to avoid the further complications so mainly as i said uh, this one uh, to avoid the uh, to prevent the further complications among themselves as well as uh, to the community if it is a communicable disease one has to take a proper uh, care uh, in the second uh, uh, secondary prevention and coming to the tertiary prevention so tertiary is the final level of prevention what we are seeing uh, once the it leads to the chronic illness or severe injury trauma accidents so these are the multi-specialized uh, sectors, all the hospitals, institutions where they will be dealing with the chronic or emerging uh, aspects. So in case of uh, any sort of communicable disease, if the patient is not taking the primary care or the secondary care, that will be leading to the further complications which may lead to the, uh, the damage of multiple organs depending upon the severity or depending upon the occurrence of the disease which will be influencing uh, over the uh, risk factors of the uh, disease so that uh, it may lead to the morbidity or mortality also so care with complicated or disabled cases so as i said once if it is not controlled in the primary or secondary level then it is reached to the tertiary level and coming to the tertiary level mainly uh, after the proper diagnosis treatment and investigation so one should follow the rehabilitation uh, centers rehabilitation aspects if it is required to avoid the further uh, morbidity in day-to-day -day activities okay so these are the levels of prevention what we are seeing in the community uh, with the day-to-day -day activities so in the next presentation we'll be seeing regarding the communicable and non-communicable disease and so on. Thank you.